But let me move on because there's an issue having to do with you that I want to give you the opportunity to address, which is um, there's this 1992 report from the Center for Public Integrity, which listed your firm as one of the lobbying firms that profited most by doing business with foreign countries in which there were human rights issues with how those governments treated their people. You were reportedly the closest political advisor, American political advisor, to Viktor Yanukovych of Ukraine, who was a close ally of Vladimir Putin. And now there are people in the national security apparatus who are saying that they have questions about Donald Trump now getting classified briefings because of you, because of your close ties to Viktor Yanukovych and others. How do you respond to that? Well, there are so many different parts of that we said are wrong. Uh, first of all, I don't see the classified briefings. Donald Trump sees the classified briefings. You're not in the room when he receives them? Not in the room when he receives them. He doesn't talk to me about them. So there's, there's a total barrier there. Secondly, I have no foreign, pilot, foreign clients now. I have no clients. I have one client, Donald Trump. Right, but you have in the last decade. Third, some of those clients that you're talking about, if you go back and look, they were in concert with U.S. foreign policy. As far as the Yanukovych administration is concerned, you will see, if you do any fact-checking, that I was the person that negotiated the, the framework, which is the base upon which Ukraine is now a part of Europe. That was my role. That's what I did. And when it was completed, I left. I did do a lot of fact-checking, and Reuters wrote a very extensive story that talked about you being a, a strong political advisor to Viktor Yanukovych, not just you, other American consultants, including Tad Devine at the Sanders campaign, but you being a very uh, powerful and influential person with Viktor Yanukovych. And I was involved in activities that related to directly impacting positive U.S. and European foreign policy, and that's what the facts will show.